What is up you guys? I'm gonna um since my last video of this, I'm going to make since I said I was going to, I'm going to make a um rainforest house. But first I'm gonna plant some trees, so yeah. So the first step I guess is to get the trees and make them grow. You're not tall enough for me. All you have to do on a tree isn't good enough. Just burn a little part of it. One, two, three, four. There we go. That's the tree I wanted. Except we're gonna get rid of this. So yeah, you're going to want to get rid of all the leaves on the tree, like so. This has got to be a smaller one. See, so there's the top of the tree. It's gonna be coming off the side of the tree, which is I know different, but I don't care. All right, so you're gonna want to start with some oak stairs, oak slabs, and some fence. And you're gonna want to go on the tree find you a good starting point which is like right here gonna want to surround the tree with stairs like so then you wanna go go out two 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 all the way around like so. By the time you're done, you should have yourself a small platform. Which is going to be the base of building your house. Which, I hope will be done soon. So, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now, from here, you're going to want slabs. Actually, raise it up one. It's going to be how you're living it, not just looking at it every day. Well, you got to be looking at it if you're living in it, but, eh, no point in talking about that. I'm starting to rant. Now, you're going to want to do this. For every corner you can see the logs like this. Now you're gonna wanna go in up like this on each side. 
until you hit the tree. So I'm just gonna keep doing and doing. Like that. Which should be about right. There. See, and it's gonna look kinda like a bulb ish looking thing. Now from the second one you're going to want to go like this, connect them all with the slabs, now you're going to want to go in between the top ones like this, the stairs. Look at that. It's nice. Ah. Actually, that gives me an idea. Now, you, now you're going to want to go in it like this. And you're going to want to go all around it with upside down stairs. I'm actually going to replace this with stairs. It's going to look better when it's done. Promise you guys that. Um. Yeah. Right now I'm kind of taking a guesstimate of what I'm supposed to do. So please don't hate on me for this. If it ends up being terrible looking. I might like it, but you might not. So Make sure when I'm done with this video to tell me if you enjoyed this house. And if you didn't, please tell me that too. And I'll ask you what I could do to change it. If you can't think of anything and you're just generally hating on me, then please stop. Alright, now you're going to want to go around like this. So, There we go. There we go. Now, now from this point, you're going to want to connect them like this because now you're going to want to make your way up with. I'm going to do vines because it'll look more um, jungle themed. See? Now you just climb your way up like this. I'm going to place a trap door so unsanitary won't get in. Now you're going to want to take 
spruce. No, I'll do jungle because you're in the jungle. You're going to want to go around like this. The good thing about these houses is that it's very hard for someone to raid because it's high enough up. Um, so they're okay on PvP and survival maps and stuff like that. The Their downside is the fact that they can burn extremely easy so someone could just burn the tree and totally devastate you. Totally. You're going to want to cover the top base of this tree with torches. You want to go like this, and this is where you're going to place your crafting table and your three furnaces. I'm only going to do three because of the fact that, well, face it, you're in a tree. You, you have limited space, so you use what you have. Now, you're going to want to go out from here. I'm going to go out from here. Have your oak wood and find the spots where you place your stairs and place the two pieces. Like so. This isn't a smart house to build in survival actually because it. At least the aesthetics part of it. Because personally, you can't get up there very easy. So. Now in each corner, now under each one, you're going to want to place two fence. And then right here, you're going to want to place a fence. Now fence, 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 and a fence. And this is what you'll have around when you're done. Make it towards the top of the tree so it's harder for people to get up there. You can also make it more of a parkour challenge by like twisting it and stuff. You can also make it hidden with leaves by placing a bunch of leaves on the bottom of it. And around it, so it just looks like a giant bulb. But is, that isn't smart because people can still find you. That might be more of a giveaway, I don't really know. No, I don't want to sleep. You're going to want to place two beds like that. And your chest, you're going to place opposite of your beds, like this. And then right here, you're going to place a double chest. Now, if you if you can't tell from just looking at me in this place, it's very cramped. But since it's cramped, it also but it has everything you need for two people to live in it. And it even has a view, which is wonderful. I'm going to change this part a little bit. Um, oak, so this might work good to me. No, that won't. I'll have to change that around somehow later. Ooh, I know what I could do. I could still make this look cool with the oak. It might make it look smaller, but it makes it so much better looking on the inside. Now, this is a very cramped tree, and you can make this base bigger, which I would suggest. So then you could make it Proportional to however big you want your house to be. I'd also suggest instead of having that there, place a block like, no, uh, not that big. Um, here, and get this. 
You can change around the wood stylings too. I just used oak because it was kind of rare and it stood out on the tree so you guys would see better. But yeah. So what you should look like about when you're done. Ooh, also my some stuff I could do to make this look even cooler. is to give you the tree-like feeling, I guess. That's how you'd put it. Yeah, that one won't work. Because of the It get kind of camouflaged, but and there you go. You have a tree house. Hangs off the ground. Um, I can't hit it from where I am. Well, I could probably hit the leaves and that, and I could climb up into it. But besides that, this is a fairly secret house. If you make it in a good enough jungle, far enough in, and in a high enough tree, no one will be able to spot you. And it's tall enough to where it doesn't feel cramped, but it's too small this way, so you'll feel cramped like that. Now, instead of doing the fancy walls that I did, you could just place fences across, which would increase your the look of your surface area by a ton, but I wouldn't do that. Anyways, um... Please drop a like or a comment down uh, below the video. Um, tell me what you think of this house. Is there anything I can improve besides making it larger? Because I already know that one. So don't tell me that. Because I'm going to do something that will make this much better looking. I'm going to place two trees over here by it. And... Yeah, um, yeah, see, look, this is the tallest tree, I would have made it in something like this, but I didn't have enough room, but yeah, see, if you're like over here, it's more difficult to see, because there's all the leaves blocking it, and you're just like this, but when you're close to it, and, or if you're, make it in the front of the jungle like this, then it's easy to see. Yeah. Um, so yeah, like, drop a like or comment down below. Tell me what you think. And thank you for watching this short, this not really short video, this video over a house in a jungle tree. Um, so yeah. Feel free to subscribe as well. I forgot to add that. And comment on what you want me to make next. Thanks.